element actually works with the engineer uh, research and um, rescue team and they go there and make sure that they are not being introduced into a uh, hazardous environment in this case it would be radiological um, to make sure that their um, exposure guidance is lower um, than what has been mandated as a maximum Their job is to make sure that the team that is going in, um, and they're monitoring the whole time, make sure that they're not going into uh, hazards. And if they do go into a hazard, they understand exactly what it is, they've got the right PPE, and that they're actually monitoring the amount of exposure of whatever that hazard is. Um, and then also to come back safely. In this particular uh, event, it is bringing civilians um, at different um, stages of contamination, or maybe they think they're contaminated. You have ambulatory and non-ambulatory. Um, so they triage them, they figure out which one they are, they help them walk through calmly, and then the medical folks actually track them to see, it, number one, were they contaminated, um, what levels they were at, and what facilities they're gonna go to next. You're not gonna injure those people who come up, right? you know, treat them like a, a hostel. Um, you're going to do a better job in tracking them because if you put the faces of your own family and those people coming through that you're deconning, you're going to do a better job. Because this mission is actually saving our own families. That's what this is about. It's saving lives um, and extending their life so they can get to another facility if that's what it boils down to. The civilian population, when something really happens, this uniform is going to calm them down. This uniform is what they trust. And I think if every soldier really understood that and inculcated that and acted like they were saving their own families, you know, they would get the true intent of this, which is saving lives. And you're saving your families.